Welcome back to Four Far, and it is very exciting times because, and this is, I think, the first time this has ever happened to me on the game. We got a sugar daddy. Well, I could hardly believe it. There'd been rumours that the chairman was considering retiring from football and you know, at the very least taking a back seat. And then a few days ago, I got a message saying that Su Hyun Woo was considering taking over the club, buying it for 120,000 and pumping in enormous amounts of money. Um, but I didn't get excited because it was like, well, I've heard these sort of rumors before and they basically never come to fruition. But oh, it's, it's real. It's real, people. So, here we are. <clears throat> Things may never be the same again. At Station Park, after South Korean investor Su Hyun Woo successfully completed a takeover of the League Two club. According to Sporting Life, Woo has promised that he will stop at nothing to ensure 4 Far Athletic become one of the greatest forces in domestic and continental football. <sighs> now, one immediate impact is that we have turned fully professional because he's just bankrolling the thing um, which means we get to train five days a week um, all our players are probably in line for pay rises because they know we've got the money now um, yeah they've indicated all staff and players will be required to move on to full full-time contracts in the near future so we're probably gonna have to renegotiate a load of contracts um, I would imagine uh, they have also increased the amount of staff you're able to hire, so I'll have to have a look at that and see how many we can we can get. Because I mean, this is just such a leg up at this level. Um, now, a personal message for me, really for me. Um, <clears throat> thank you for your patience. Well, I mean, it was it was like three days, three days of transfer embargo outside a transfer window, but you're welcome. Um, <clears throat> during what has undoubtedly been a stressful time for everyone involved with the club. Not really, I just got on with the job of winning a football match. Admittedly, it was a little bit stressful in the match. It was only 1-0, and we looked like we really wanted to throw it away. But we quite didn't quite. Uh, money has been invested in developing the training ground and youth training facilities, and a further one and a half million has been pumped into the coffers. Okay, well, let's, let's have a look here then. Okay, we've got 1.6 million in the bank. Oh my lord, we've got a transfer budget of 162,000, which is meaningless at this stage because we can't sign anyone. Um, we have a slightly upped wage budget, not that much. Um, now, 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 <laughs> that transfer budget, which let's face it, is not going to roll over to next season at all, um, that's going to be pumped into the scouting budget, people. That is exactly what we are going to do of this instant. Um, now, what can we scout? I mean, UK and Ireland definitely is what we should be up to. Um, yeah, let's go UK and Ireland because I think the foreign player rules mean that we basically can't really get anyone from abroad anyway, so there's not really much point looking. But definitely UK and Ireland. Um, what do we got? About three or four months of the season left? 10 grand a month? Let's not go let's not go overboard let's put like half of it oh well almost half of it in confirm that get the old budgeting up to that right that means i've got a good head start on being able to look at people excellent now club vision and expectations now this may well be changing. well no actually it's not changing and um, reached the League 2 playoffs, well they're delighted with that and that's because we have already confirmed our place in the playoffs. Uh, Scottish Cup, Scottish League Cup, we were competitive, you saw just how competitive we were in both of those. Um, and yeah, working within wage budget, well reserving judgement, you don't need to reserve judgement. Give me enough of a wage budget, I'll work within it, nice, quite happily. I don't really sign old players anyway, so that's not a problem. Now. Gain automatic promotion to League One. Yeah, you see here we 
looking at this, we called a top half finish, reached League One playoffs, which to be honest is one place higher than a top half finish. Um, so yeah, so they're not looking for this. This is good because they're not looking for instant promotions. It's like right, you got to go up, you got to go up, you got to go up. <clears throat> so it's good. They know it's going to take a, possibly take a while. Although with the money I've got available, I don't think it will do. Um, now, board of lifted transfer embargo, blah blah blah. Make extra funds available. Yep, that's the transfer fund that we've just moved half of. And they've offered me a new contract. Still not a very good wage, is it? I mean, in all honesty, it's it's not really much of an improvement. Let's start the negotiations. Let's let's have a look. What's my existing contract? Fifteen and a half grand. Okay. Um, it's a one-year extension. Given the job I'm doing, I'm going to ask for a couple. Of, I'm going to ask for, yeah, I'm going to ask for 1,500 quid more. I think I deserved it. I think I've earned it. And it's still not really particularly living wage, to be perfectly honest. It'll probably, I'll probably get by. Obviously, 17 grand is not a disaster. But I think I'm worth at least that, if not more. Apparently, they don't. Really, really, you're not going to give me anything more. It's a good job I've got money to spend. Right, fine, I'll take it, but I'm not happy about it. Oh, it's all going so well until then. I wonder if we can afford to pump that money in if this is what he pays people who are in charge. You know, I run, I run this club. And you won't see the next game or the next few games, probably, but I'll just give you a quick, quick look at the league table. Look at that. We are 10 points clear. 10 points clear. With nine games to play. No pay rise. It's an outrage. Anyway, we'll be back for hopefully whatever game looks like it might secure us automatic promotion one year ahead of schedule. Oh, I really should have just turned the contract down, shouldn't I? And then tried to get promoted and then renegotiate. Didn't think that through. Oh well. Well, we have five games to go. We are away, Montrose, who are second. They are 12 points behind us. Basically, we should really have the title sewn up. There is no excuse from this point. Um, we do have to play Stranraer again, so we haven't got the easiest running, but we do have some very winnable home games. Um, and, of course, if we win today, then we are promoted. If we draw, we are all but there. Um, right, let's just do this. Everybody got, oh no, those two are both. Okay, right, you are, nope, not you. <sighs> I do wish they wouldn't play this formation. It really messes with my head when I'm doing this. Uh, right, both of you onto your left foot. Going hard on you. Right, we have had some intriguing matches. Um, recently, uh, we went 2-0 down to Elgin City and came back to win 3-2. Uh, we lost to Dumbarton, I think it was, um, thanks to uh, Sean McIntosh deciding that he didn't really want to play that day and getting himself sent off. And um, we actually took the lead in that game as well, annoyingly. Um, right. Uh, before finally losing it 2-1. Uh, we've just come off of a uh, six-goal outing against Stenhouse Muir, um, which would be more impressive if we, have, if we hadn't let in four goals ourselves, which I think apparently is a, a new Scottish League 2 record for most goals in a game, 10. Um, and we do have a really alarming habit. I, I know... We play a very, very attacking formation. Um, talking of which, um, there is just a little something I wanted to do, and that was change that to ball winning midfielder on defend. Um, <clears throat> but we can see goals at an alarming rate when we actually give up chances. And the boys seem to have got it into their heads that. The biggest lead you're allowed to have 
absolute max is three goals. Because as soon as they get a three goal lead, they really do their best to narrow the gap again. And it's frankly annoying. <clears throat> um. <sighs> right, anyway, back to the game. I'll say back to the game. I haven't done anything with the game yet, have I? Um, right, a few sort of like half chances. We are dominating the match at the moment. Sure, yep, there we go. Uh, that will change as soon as I open my mouth. Ah, hey! <sighs> Do you reckon it would pick up sign language? Got some signs I want to throw at it at the moment. You're only delaying the inevitable, Montrose. I don't know why you're bothering. Even if you catch us, you won't beat us on goal difference. <sighs> right, let's demand more. It, it's almost like it, it just doesn't want me to make videos about it, does it? That's what it is. It refuses to let me actually speak about the situation without going, well, that's what you think. I will beg to differ because I'm about to make you really hate your life. I'm calling to question why you ever speak at all. And there's the old far post header again. Oh good, Blackwell's having another terrible day. Actually played well in the last game. But he's basically gone missing for two months, pretty much. <sighs> right, come on, lads. Oh, yes, go away. Why are we so wide open at the back? <sighs> I don't want to have to go to the other system. Go on, Henderson, finish. That's that's a pass back, Henderson. Still on the plus side, he was on side. Seems to have learnt that rule at last. Haven't been caught offside for a while. Right, you are going to be told how bad you are. Why are we playing so long, referee? I mean, I don't, you know, shouldn't really complain. We're the ones who need the time, but uh, thrash arms, you've been terrible. What are you so nervous about? Sort yourself out. Come on. Get on with it. And we had the team meeting and I told them just, just focus on the game and, and not the fact that we could win the title. I'm not like doing either at the moment. Right. Mm -hmm. Harold picks it up. Seeing Waters gets it to the far post. Blackwell loops a header in, rescuing his 6.2 that he'd been putting in before that. Right. Encourage. Don't immediately let them get back on top. Not much point getting back into the game if you're just going to go, oh, well, there you go. Have it, have at it, Montrose. Right. Now then, Mr. Farrell, you're not playing very well. Get off my pitch. Lubala, you're not playing very well either. Get off my pitch. I don't know if it's Montrose's pitch, but that's not the point. You know what I'm saying. That's a pointless cross to nobody. We knew it. Right, Machel. Okay. Anderson. Oh, go on, control. 
Oh, lucky. More than Lubala's done all day. I am going to demand more because you don't seem to be responding to a bit of encouragement. You're proper shouting at, don't you, really? Angel, it's over. Contrail at the far post. Another going to win that. Outnumbered. Two to one. Waters flips it over. Oh, Henderson. Unlucky. Right, we are going to slip back to the standard bit now, and we are going to just try and make sure we don't, oh, contrail. oh, if I'd been on target, that was in. Focus, right. Well, no, Alan needs to swing it. Oh, no, he's found more. Oh, that's a good save. Henderson is stood right in front of the keeper offside. Ah, <sighs> just when you think you've solved the problem. Well, as long as we don't, uh, don't even start the sentence. Do not even start the sentence. Game referee, referee. Referee, we are playing too long. We are playing too long. Blow your whistle. Use the lungs. Blow the whistle. If they score now, referee, I am going to hunt you down and kill you. Thank you. Playing all those extra seconds just because they were attacking. Wouldn't have done it for us. <sighs> right. To all intents and purposes, we've won the title. We have got a massive goal difference advantage over them and we now have to lose every single game for the rest of the season. Which will be more games than we have lost so far this season. I think. Or as many. One of the two. As you can see, we do have that 12 point lead with four games to play and this is our remaining schedule. We have three home games and away Spartans. There really aren't many excuses for not picking up at least a point Probably all three against East Five Spartans and Peterhead, and probably Stranraer at home. Um, so, I mean, we've beaten Stranraer 4 0 the last two times we've played them. So, I think basically we are pretty much there. Um, we have been scoring for fun, as you can see. Yes, we have lost four times this season, all by the odd goal because reasons. Um, but yeah, 25 wins. We need two more apparently to equal the record. So three wins out of our last four will set a new record. And I think we'll set a record for, quite possibly set the record for points as well if we do that. I'm not sure. But we're gunning for our record for points, which is 80 apparently. And I think if we go to this and have a look at the table. Yeah, you see we've scored 93 goals. I've just had... A, an achievement ping to say that we've scored in 30 straight matches and I don't know as I've ever had a side do that before uh, yeah it is annoying me that we are conceding over a goal a game though we do concede most games um, but there you go anyway I think what we'll do is we'll have a brief little wrap up episode I might throw the last league game of the season in there um, but that will in all likelihood now be after Christmas you should be seeing this if you see it the, the day it comes out it will probably come out on Christmas Eve um, I am away from home over Christmas for a few days uh, I will not be back here until the 27th so I won't be able to get on with things again until then but um, in the meantime thank you very much for joining me today 
like, comment and subscribe. Have a very good Christmas and I will see you next time. Bye bye for now.